All right, so in this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how you can create a uh, bottom tab navigation. Um, you can have more than just two here, but for this example, we're just gonna have a home screen and a settings screen uh, that we're gonna create. So uh, to get started with this, you just need to have a basic um, React Native setup with a uh, your app.js file, um, and I've pretty much gutted out the app.js file and we just have a, um, a view with a text in here, but we're actually even gonna take that out momentarily. But let's start in our components folder. You need to create a components folder if you don't have one. And we're gonna put our screens in there. So we'll go home screen.js and then we're gonna go settings, settings screen.js. Um, we're also going to make a uh, navigator.js. That's going to really be our the logic, the brains behind our navigating. Um, so let's in the home screen we're going to keep super. Um, we're going to keep this uh, super basic. Uh, I guess is what I'm saying is uh, we're just going to have um, a a screen that's just going to say home screen, just so we can tell that we've navigated away or to. Um, and we'll do the same thing for the uh, settings screen. Uh, and once again, just very super basic. Let's have um, nothing but settings on the screen, okay? Um, just some rudimentary styling here just to center that text on the screen. So that's all, nothing fancy there. Um, all right, so let's look at the navigator. This is where um, you're gonna be uh, going over some things that are might be new for you. So, um, Let's take a look at the imports. All right, so we are, uh, you should, after you, and when you copy this code, you should add these imports. Oh, didn't let me do it for some reason. Uh, it is important to um, copy those imports though when you do this. And so uh, hopefully that um, pops up for you and you uh, get to do that. You can check in your package.js what was uh, populated. Um, and yeah, so that wasn't good that I didn't get those in time. Um, it's important to um, add them. And so I'm going to try this again. There we go. So add, add, and add. Okay. Um, all right. And so, uh, like you said, you know, these top two, very basic. Um, just the view is the only thing we're going to need from React Native. Um, uh, we're going to use this create, create app container. Um, we're going to use the create um, material bottom tab navigator. We're actually not going to use this one, so I can actually get rid of that. Um, use navigation, we're actually not going to use during this tutorial, but I'll leave it in because there's going to be something I'll show you in a future tutorial. Um, and then uh, icons is important because we're, we're going to display an icon. Uh, as you saw here, you get to display an icon uh, right with your uh, tab. And so, all right, and the next thing we need to do is take in um, home screen and um, and the setting screen, both of the screens that we created, make sure you import them. Um, and since they're in the same folder as my navigator, it should be just a uh, period and a forward slash and then the names. All right, um, that's all straightforward, hopefully. Um, next thing I'm gonna show you is we need to create a, um, a, a, a basically used creating a calling the create material bottom tab navigator function and we're actually um, saving this to saving its output to uh, a constant called tab navigator okay so that's what's happening here and this is only part of it I'm going to show you I'll paste the other part in a second what I have here is um, standard kind of template for creating uh, your route is as it's called or router um, and this is all right. Where like the, you can put as many of these as you want tabs at the bottom. Uh, I think you can get up to like six tabs at the bottom. Um, and uh, you basically tell it like what's the screen. Uh, well, you know it, this will actually uh, has to be what you import here. Um, this name you can kind of name uh, whatever you want to. This right here is how it's going to appear down on on your uh, on your tab, right? Uh, the, if you change that, that'll change what appears on your tab. 
and then we just add some kind of styling. Uh, you can play around with that. And uh, here's the icon, which I'll, I'll sh talk more about that in a, in a moment. Uh, let me just get the other tab. We only have two tabs for this example. And so that's part one. Part two is our settings tab. And again, this must, must match what we've uh, imported here. And then uh, this is what's going to appear at the bottom of the tab. And so uh, that's great. And actually this bracket right here closes out um, this right there. Uh, but there's one more um, option that we need to um, uh, code here. And so what we're going to code is what's the with the default router. Like where where's the initial page that you want to show? And so um, it's got this here has to match like, you know, either setting or home. Uh, and so it makes sense to show the home as the initial one. And then you can give um, some, this is actually really nice that you get the ability to style. Um, you get the active color and the inactive color, and you'll see it does change color when you click on one and then it becomes inactive. Um, and then the, the background color um, that I just chose kind of by random. These are all hexadecimal. You can do a Google search for hexadecimal colors and um, you'll be able to find all kinds of options there. And then we just close out the function with that right there. And then the last thing we need to do is um, export our um, app container. And how you do that is just like this. So export default, create app container. And you can do that because you have an app container right here. And um, what's the app container? Well, it's that constant that we created, the tab navigator. So that's it. It's actually not that complicated. Like I said, you could... Um, have more of these you could just add one more here and you can have another tab and so uh, let me let's show you then the last step is to update our app.js file so we need to um, import our um, tab navigator and so to do that that's just a kind of how you would import any uh, other component import tab navigator from components navigator uh, so that's great. And so now we can use tab navigator as a tag. So I'm going to get rid of everything in here and I'm going to put tab navigator. And now we should, if everything went right, yeah, looks great. So we have our tab navigator here and, and just to see, so, um, you, if we go back to the navigator, you'll notice that we're using the react native vector icons. You can do a quick search and get to this page. That is kind of the repository of all the different icons you can use. Um, there's all kinds of different ones that are kind of cool. Um, so like book is one. If So if I wanted to go ahead and change, let's say, the settings to book, if that made sense for me somehow, um, I could do that. And we should see a change here. Yeah, perfect. Um, so there's hundreds of them, uh, if not more, um, that we could do. And just so you can kind of see, we could... Copy this, paste it. Hopefully, I didn't do. Oh, we need the, the new name here. We'll say um, uh, profile. I never created a page, so I'm not sure if this will work just right. Uh, but there it is, actually. Now we have three tabs, right? Although these two are going to go to the, the same one. Um, but that's how easy it is to add another tab, just so you saw that. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, this is super useful and I think would be um, it's helpful for any React Native app.